Hey Nerebs, it's Warsaw Blenny signing in, and today we are doing a build. Now this is super weird to me because I haven't made a video on this channel in a really long time, but I don't know, I just kind of like opened up Sims and decided to film something, so here it is. So this is a build. I went for a kind of modern looking build style. Uh, I do build a lot, like I built a lot in The Sims 2. I made some really awesome things, uh, and so kind of building in the... The Sims 4 was quite different for me because I never played The Sims 3 simply because it never met my expectations of The Sims 2 because I had every single expansion pack for The Sims 2 so it was kind of like a oh yeah you can't play anything <laughs> you have no creative you know idea or perspective but I realized why I loved the Sims 4 or sorry The Sims 2 which is why I gave The Sims 4 a chance keep in mind uh, I have literally like no idea how any of the controls work but I have ideas and that's why I kind of fumble a bit at the beginning uh, but this kind of lot uh, I've realized kind of in today's age like with really anything we have uh, really you know dense community living nowadays and we really don't have any backyards the houses are really close together and I wanted to kind of mimic that and that's where the kind of modern theme in my head came up with I just hit my hand on the deck desk. I hope you didn't uh, hear that. But anyway, uh, and, and so when I think about modern, I really think about, you know, you know, shapes and different types of shapes and taking that into perspective. Uh, and so you see people with like round shapes or like, I don't know, all kinds of different shapes uh, in modern builds. So mine was kind of a rectangular square type shape. So I wanted to try and keep everything simple and kind of rectangular and so that's how this build came to be uh now i wanted to have an accent color and i wanted it to be very you know bright and popping so as you can see i kind of went with a red and i just find that red is such a great accent color it makes anything really stand out uh and that's why it's like one of my favorites and right now i'm adding in some pillars to kind of make it look like it's not just a freestanding building on the top. And underneath that kind of area where the pillars are on the bottom, like underneath the swimming pool, two floors down, it's kind of where I wanted to put like a, a parking garage or a parking location. Uh, and so I just kind of upsized a, like a toy car <laughs> and I put it there. And one of the most difficult parts of this build is actually right now, and that was deciding where I was going to put the windows and kind of where am I going to put things, how am I going to like like putting things. It was very difficult, especially because I had this one giant plain wall. And because I didn't know what to do with it, I just kind of ended up making one giant, like, I don't know, viewing wall. And it, it turned out really nicely. I also tried to go with those squares, as you saw. That didn't go too well. Those got deleted, like, instantaneously. I watched a video recently uh, of people, like, going over that. And by that I mean like the, uh, I don't know, the modern kind of looking house. Uh, and so those squares did not make it too far. And I tried different doors and stuff, but I couldn't find anything I liked because I wanted that pop of red to really show and come out. And I, I did go end up with that door there that you see, but it has the red and it's kind of gray and I really liked that. Also with this build, I really want to try, wanted to try and incorporate like a rooftop pool and I feel like not a lot of people in modern homes today can do that and obviously this is kind of like a rich person's house because who has a roof on their pool? <laughs> it's not really a thing. But as you can see, like the layout for this house, like how much room you actually have to go for, it's like you literally have no room. There's no room to build anything. One of the things I love on like houses that are like this is um having that nice open thing to, like area in which you like look down into like the floor underneath so I wanted to incorporate that that's what I did on the third floor now that changes to the second floor and it looks over the dining room you'll see afterwards uh now the layout to this house was quite difficult because I like I said it's very skinny uh the you know where the stairs are is kind of the only place where the stairs could be putting bathrooms was a difficult keeping it open concept was definitely something very difficult uh right now I'm trying to figure out what fence matches the outside fence because I really didn't know. Now I 
didn't put any landscaping in this video, but it is there if you want to download it from the gallery, uh, which is Warsaw Blondie with a Y. It will be on the screen now. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun with this this house, and I, and it did end up going with the uh, you know glass and I don't know stone looking stuff. But as you can see, I just incorporated that little that dip. And that's where I kind of wanted it to look. I kind of wanted it to be like a little sitting area at the bottom, but that didn't happen. And I gave back that area that I took off to begin with from the third floor, that empty space you saw. And I made it into a, the master bedroom, actually. It was quite difficult to figure out where the master bedroom was going to be, simply because, like I said, super skinny living and the amount of space for the house totally, like very very thin and you know figuring out okay I want two bedrooms on this floor or I want two bedrooms on this floor I need to incorporate a bathroom and for the master bedroom that's a ensuite like where do you put that what do you do with that it's quite difficult to figure out um, right now I'm trying to incorporate like the hall and try and make the the concept work and it was actually quite difficult figuring out where the closet and stuff was gonna work this is when I'm just staring at the layout trying to figure out what looks good what doesn't I wanted to kind of make like a bathroom for the Sims, I guess, like a giant bathroom so they can get, like, get ready in the pool. Um, and I incorporated that that fence so the one bedroom can get into it, which was nice. Uh, then I added the be the bathroom on the bottom floor. That originally was going to be a study, but I, I moved the study to that kind of up the stairs, that kind of area across from, like, adjacent from the pool, which I think turned out really nicely uh, in comparison to, like, other things. But this is me trying to figure out the master bedroom. I wanted it to be on the right, but I realized that's a really skinny area to work with. It was too skinny, and I just didn't like it. And so I kept playing with it and keep playing with it, and it turned out to be, like, a teenage girl room. Uh, so there's multiple bedrooms here. There's the teenage girl room who's kind of like, she just got out of, you know, being a kid and she's a teenager. And honestly, when I was that age, all of my friends' houses were pink and purple and just covered with pink and purple things and none of it made sense. And that's the purpose of that room. It doesn't make any sense at all. And that is perfect for this build, for this, like, I guess that room. And then in the other room, I have more of a mature, older, like, adult who kind of still lives with his parents, but he, you know, has his own likes and dislikes. And yes, of course, I put a video game console in there uh, and a little setup. I'm trying to make it work with the limited space I had because the bathroom was also in that quadrant of the house. But now I'm playing with, you know, where's the master bath's going to be and, like, how's it going to work. And that's when I decided, you know what, this is where the master bedroom's going to be. And I started playing around with all of the, the layout and, and everything. It was quite difficult, to be honest. And, and I think I do pull out the, the right side, yeah, forward, uh, just so I have more room to work with. And I didn't notice at the time that I took out one of the main windows, the main feature window things. But you'll you'll get to see it eventually. One of my favorite things in modern homes is that they take, you know, a generalized color and then they work with that color in space. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make an accent wall for every single room on the main floor. And I did this because the other floors are more bedrooms, so they kind of have their own accent or their own style, and they can change within the modern home because only the main features of the house, the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, uh, have to be modern. The rest of it can be whatever that sim wants. And that's the beauty of this. So I went with orange for the living room, and I played around with some TVs and stuff, and this was very difficult because I only have three spaces to look, like, move around in. And if you noticed the, uh, like, that area... I wanted to put a giant TV on there, but it didn't work because I didn't want to cover the main doorway too much. This is me adding the car and making decisions on where the car is going to be. And the door, because I wanted to have like a, a kitchen door kind of thing, like almost every house has. And so that was kind of awesome in that regard. I wanted to add a spoke, but that didn't work out. It didn't quite fit the way I wanted it to. Uh, but I think it turned out quite well. I actually have no idea if that fireplace works, but the rest of everything else works. Uh, 
I'll probably check that later. <laughs> I'll put it in the description if it works. Um, this is kind of me playing around with a whole bunch of like the colors, trying to tie everything in, adding the, um, I guess the, the shades, the blinds, that's the word. And yeah, so that's when I, I changed all the things. I wanted a closet in the main room, so I added one of the closets from the um, expansion pack, City Living. Now, keep in mind, if you want to download this, you'll need all of the expansion packs, but you won't need any of the stuff packs or game packs, because I don't have any of those, so, and I just kind of had fun with what I had. I made a little area around the bottom of the stairs, because I wanted it to be inviting and fun for people to just kind of look at and, and, you know, do stuff with. So that's kind of what I did. Um, made it super fun, super, like, um, like, I don't know, interesting to look at. Now the bathroom, this is the only bathroom with hardwood flooring in it, and I don't know why I decided to do this. I've never actually seen a bathroom with hardwood flooring, but I think it turned out really nicely. Like, I tied in the colors quite nicely. I wanted this room to be green, and I wanted it to be a little bit darker green, like a really pretty, um, lime kind of green, but not, like, neon green, if that makes sense. But there is no color like that in the build area, which made me, like, super upset, because, like, I wanted it to be super bright, super awesome, like, the orange, like, the red, like, the blue, and nothing matched, but luckily, the green from the shower made me change my mind, and I found, like, this, I don't know, I guess, like, a crayon kind of green, and I, I made it work with the space I had, and I put a carpet in the, uh, in the bathroom itself, which I think made it look really good. I wanted this house to be fully uh, hardwood floor throughout. Now that definitely changed with the bathrooms upstairs and the one in the master bedroom. There was me saving, sorry you guys. Uh, but yeah, I with the dining room, I didn't want to make it too complicated. I knew that I was going to have a four bedroom house. So I needed at least four chairs plus visitors, made it six. Uh, and again, with the red accents, I wanted this to be specifically red because again, it's going onto that second floor. So that's how that came to be. Now there's some other things. Like the hallway color is mainly white throughout the house. Uh, but that red spot definitely changes it a little bit. And I, I think I should have put trim or something up there. But whatever, it's all good. Uh, then uh, I wanted to make a little bit of an accent wall here. And I didn't know what to do. When I, and I had this idea of having like a really nice like accent table. But this is one of the things, like I was saying before, I didn't have any building experience in The Sims 4 before this, and I had tons of building experience in The Sims 2, so I kind of knew what I had, I had a vision, but I didn't know how to accomplish it, and because of the stuff, I kind of came up with this shelf thing, because again, I didn't have any accent walls, and I was really confused, and I was like, why isn't there any accent? table things. There is. I found them. I found them. I used them in the next room. But I still, I loved how this shelving kind of turned out. I kind of left it. Uh, now there's cars on almost every single one of the shelving. Uh, and I guess it just comes from my preference and my design style because my house is covered with cars. Uh, so it's just, I have cars everywhere. <laughs> um, and then this is kind of me decorating like the halls and stuff. I end up going with some fun colored, yeah, guys playing some musical instruments, uh, which I, I really liked. Now, the kitchen was quite interesting. It was a very large space, and I wanted to make it, you know, big and fun and functional. And so I kind of went with the design of like a U shape. Uh, and you'll see what that looks like uh, at the end. I don't know what this giant pause is, but I'll probably take it out. Where am I right now? I need to mark this. Anyway, uh, back to the build. This is me trying to figure out some cabinet space and stuff. I don't, it made no sense to me. Like, there's no cabinet that made it look nice, so I kind of had to m pretend that it goes together, even though it, it doesn't. <laughs> Just don't look at it for too long, that's all. Uh, then I got some matching fridges and, and stove to kind of go in the location. I changed that to a half table, I think. So I don't think I, I made it into a, what is it, like an O-shape? I made it more into a U-shape, and you'll see that in the future. Now, I put three different bins, and I wanted to do that because, realistically, in today's age, at least in Canada, we have uh, recycling, compost, and garbage. 
And so I wanted the three bins, and there's three arrows that go on top of those bins that represent the recycling, the compost, and the garbage, which will be represented later. Now, this is super weird. I didn't know what, I guess, I don't know what those cabinets on the top for, like, the fridge I wanted. I couldn't make a decision here, and I didn't know why it wasn't working, but I figured it out. It was the light that was making it look weird. And I added, ended up adding white to contrast the black. I don't know why, but I really like having different colored cabinets on top as to post to the bottom. And so these are two polar opposites, a black and a white, and it just made sense to me. Uh, and then I added a whole bunch of spoons so I could put the spoons right beside the stove uh, because that's where I wanted it to and that's how you do that by the way. You put a whole bunch of stuff and then you, you throw it in the correct location. I did end up watching uh, how to build in the Sims 4 video before I watched this or I made this because I, I knew it, I'd struggle so I just kind of threw it all together. Now the other blue accents I have in this room are the stools and I really like this, this tea thing on the side and the light so most things are blue in this uh, a lot of it isn't but a lot of the furniture is black and white and I think that's kind of key in the sims to have the black and white uh, so yeah that's that and it is a family home which is why the backpacks there and the uh, I guess picture and stuff is there with the chalkboard these are the arrows I was talking about you know the blue the black and the green just you know the green is compost the blue is recycling and the black is garbage I added some fun colors and um, paintings to the actual kitchen itself I found this really gorgeous uh, cake thing that I just had to add so I added it to the left of the thing which I thought really tied in both the dining room and the kitchen itself simply because the kitchen was blue and the dining room was red and it had both of the colors and it just looked really nice and I ended up putting the study underneath the stairs and I don't know if that was limiting or not and by that I mean kind of like claustrophobic but I think it turned out really well and just so you know the computer does actually work underneath the stairs I was questioning it myself so I got my sim in there and I, I tested it out and it works totally fine now the computer itself was quite interesting, like that area, because I wanted to make it very, like, I don't know, you know different. Uh, and so I put the study in there, and then I had this giant space of, of emptiness, and I, I wanted to add something, you know, fun. So I added the, the darts, which I know doesn't work as soon as I add this table in. Now I found this table to be a little bit too kiddish for myself or for my liking. So I found this kind of darker looking one, which I really liked. I have no idea what the game is. Again, I haven't really played this game in a while, so I don't know, <laughs> but I ended up doing that. This is the super girly room. And by that, I mean, look at the, it's like pink on the wall, purple everywhere. It's supposed to be something like completely out there and I realized with this much space and with someone who has this much money like a family who has this much money they're definitely gonna have double beds in their room and so that's why there's double beds for the kids room or for this teenage room and I, I put in a purple desk I think is what it or no pink desk is what it turned out to be I wish we could customize things like I did play sims 3 for a little bit and you were able to customize the colors and stuff and I wish that was still a thing that was quite nice but I guess it's quite limiting now. Uh, it was hard to kind of decorate all this stuff. I went with the sign. I went where it's it's from Get to Work, uh, but it made it so much interesting. I like for the room. I would love to have glowing lights in my room that said like I don't know, like my gamer tag or something. Something super cool. That would be really awesome. Uh, now here I I know I'm looking forever for these this painting, but I found it eventually and that was the one I was looking for. For me, like if you guys ever played Overwatch, it reminds me of Diva, so I don't know why, it just does. Now here I wanted to try and put the carpet on the actual desk, uh, as like a, a runner on the on the not desk, but on the, the dresser. But it didn't work out. It didn't look as nice as I wanted it to, so I just kinda threw out the idea. Now those signs those get changed so often and they were kept glitching out and stuff so it didn't look as nice as I wanted it to so I kind of put them in like a nice neat area which would actually never happen in an actual like teenage room. Now that that this kind of teenage room it reminds me of like growing up or whatever you always have your parents and they're always like okay here's the piece of artwork for your room you know here you go it's like a hundred bucks and then everything else in your room is like posters and like a whole bunch of really cheap stuff and that that's why that that painting was there because that just reminded me like it has a backstory to it and I really like that um 
Now here I put the shower to the left, and I did that because I wanted to add that fake wall, you know, a nice wall to when you're having a bath. And I threw the, the toilet on the corner, and I, I, again, with carpets in the bathroom, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I put the, the carpet there so it would cover the shower and the toilet all at the same time. It worked out quite well, I think. Um, and, of course, you have to add the soap and stuff, and a laundry bin, because I don't know if you guys have ever been in any room ever, or any house ever, but laundry bins are usually everywhere, so I just added one. I think it's the only one in the whole build, so it's kind of surprising to me. Anyway, here I'm adding some, like, like plants and soaps and stuff to the towel thing. I don't know why I came up with that idea, but I did, and so I took that idea and I grasped it, and I just played around with it, and I think it turned out okay. Um... I made sure nothing was glitching through anything. I added a rose, it was quite nice, uh, and a nice painting. Now here's what I meant by the, all other rooms need to be modern, but the rest of the house doesn't really need to be modern, and that's that part here. So if you look, this room here, I wanted to have like a, I don't know, a, a, an adult's room, and so I found this bed, I really loved it, and it, it reminded me of anchors. So I kind of based the room off of, you know, ships, and I took that and I was like, okay, what would an adult, like, just came out of his teens, an adult, he still lives with his parents, what would he have in his room? And he loves ships, and I was like, you know what, this guy has to be a gamer, uh, just like me and all my friends are. So I added the TV, I added the console, I added, you know, the really awesome red and black computer, um, and I placed a ton of consoles just so I could get the console in the place I wanted it to, because I had to have a console. I put a table there in which I could add a ship, because um, I couldn't, I didn't like any of the tables there. But I, I ended up with that one, I believe. And uh, I put some ships and, and boats and stuff kind of on the accents. I didn't add too many. Um, I was trying to decide where I wanted that to go, so I put that there. And I feel like every room needs a mirror, so that's why that mirror is there. Uh, added some, like, really awesome maps and this coral reef above the bed. And it's all ship-themed. I, I wanted something on the side there, but I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted there. So I went with uh, this kind of like bridge looking thing on the side. I don't know, it, it was looking to the water. So yeah, it's it counts, right? <laughs> um, and I forgot to add that door for the one. So that's why the posters kind of ended up looking like that. They kind of go underneath the desk. Because I feel like if I was a teenager, I would totally do that. I would put the, the things there. Uh, for the outside area, for the deck area, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I definitely wanted a barbecue, but I wanted it upstairs. So I decided I'd put uh, a little, um, I don't know, music player, what is it called? <laughs> Stereo. Out there with a little sitting area. I didn't want anything too complicated. Again, I wanted it to be simple. I didn't want it, that space ruined. Uh, like ruining the whole outside look of the house, which is kind of the key component of the house. Uh, right now I'm furnishing the master bedroom. Now, the master bedroom, kind of interesting. I want it to be feel warming, and I want it to be red, because if you're going to buy a red house, I feel like the people who actually own the house are going to have the red room. So they had the red room. Uh, and I ended up going with like the white wallpaper and then the red accent wall. Uh, and I kind of ran off of that. And I feel like every master bedroom should have some sort of fireplace or, or warming thing. And so that's how the fireplace came to be. It will, it will pop up shortly. Yeah, right there. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that the Sims could get through that small little opening because I think it's only a space long, but it's all good. It totally works out. Uh, in the favor, I added side lamps to kind of match the, the the area of it, and this rug, uh, I could, I know I could have totally upsized it and placed it there, but I wanted it not to be blurry, so I added two of them, and I put them together, and it looked pretty good, so I, I did keep that. I really like the silver and the, and the white, it made it kind of all come together, and again, with the rest of the build, it kind of went with simple, but you know, full, and of course, the guy's side definitely has the, the cars and stuff. That's where, or well, why the dining room has cars in it. And I, I wanted to, t like, put personality into the house, as any house should have when you're fur furnishing it, right? Personality. So that's where that came from. Uh, you know, a car on the side, books on the other side. She's the smart one. He's kind of the, I don't know, the one who goes for it, who's out there. If I had more room in this house, I definitely would have done, like, a jacuzzi tub. You know, the, the, the four-square one made it super pretty. 
but it didn't happen uh, because I didn't have enough space and I didn't want to take any more space from the master bedroom because it was just so full and just didn't have any room or any space to do anything. So I just kind of came up with that, that area there. And here's the master uh, bath. I put some really interesting colors and stuff there. It turned out okay. I mean, it wasn't too complicated. Bathrooms aren't too complicated. Accent table See, Once I figured out what they were and how to put them in, I put them everywhere. <laughs> and I threw in some lamps and some plant things and tissues, because I feel like tissues should be throughout the house. Uh, then I was looking for a hot tub, and then I realized I don't have a hot tub because I don't have that stuff pack or game pack. I don't even know what it comes from, but I don't have it. So if I did have it, I would put the hot tub there. <laughs> Again, one of those things like Sims 2 came with a hot tub, like a base pack came with a hot tub. So I feel like the Sims 4 was definitely lacking when it came out, but I still bought it, and I guess I'm enjoying it. I mean, I made this video, right? Uh, and here's, I wanted to do another kid's room, but I wanted it to be different, so I came up with an infant's room, and so I put a bookshelf and a reading area and, you know, dinosaur um, carpet areas to kind of differentiate the two parts of the room, because it is a very odd-shaped room, especially with that giant window. There's not much you can do with it, and I didn't want to put blinds on the window because I didn't want it to be ruined, I guess, or... I think whenever you're looking at the front curb appeal of the house, I put a toy box and, you know, a little dresser, and then I put toys everywhere because I feel like every infant room or child's room should just have toys everywhere. And it was also the closest room to the, the master bedroom, so I thought that kind of made sense in my head that they just have to walk across the hall and go from there. And so, yeah. Uh, I added some lights throughout the house, tried to make them make sense, uh, and by that I mean, like, place them in places that would make more sense? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, those lights, the basic lights that I put throughout are definitely the main lights you need to have everywhere, because if you don't have them, they make no sense whatsoever. <laughs> like, so I put them everywhere, and then I added some lights everywhere else to kind of make it look nice when it was in the middle of the night, added a ton of lights, realized those were kids' lights, my bad, and then I, I filled the rest with lights, and, and then it looks super cool at night. And now we're getting into screenshots, so here's the outside of that house, and the side with the car, and the main entrance with the living room and all that stuff, dining room, bathroom, you know, the outside, the big long open concept, the kitchen, the, you know, all the stuff, like the outside with the, the thing, I wanted to get more details into that, going back upstairs, you know, the pool room, the desks, the bathroom, the, get like the upper stairs bathroom, the adults room, um, and then we go into the girls room, and of course big pink, purple, black, you know, it, it's fun, I can go back upstairs into the master bedroom with all the red and the black and the funness and, you know, the ensuite bathroom, and then you go into the the infant's room with all the toys everywhere and all the stuff and all the fun stuff on the walls and then the outside and and that's the house so i really hope you enjoyed the video uh maybe i'll make some more stuff later i don't know anyway bye guys